great. All right, folks, it's time to do another fishing report. And this fishing report's going to be way different than our normal fishing reports. Uh, as you can probably tell when you saw the video come up, that it's probably longer than normal for most fishing reports and updates. Because uh, what I did is, is um, I had some people ask about the fish hatchery on the Salmon River in Altmar, New York. Uh, so, you know, the rumors is that the rivers, or excuse me, the hatchery is full of fish. That it's stuffed, there's a lot of fish in the hatchery. And so I went up there with the video cameras to confirm those rumors. Yes, there's a lot of fish in the hatchery. Actually, there's quite a bit of fish in the hatchery. Probably more than I've seen in a long time, to be honest with you. So I'm going to start this um, video out showing some clips and a little video section of um, what I observed and show what's going on with the numbers of fish in the hatchery. So I hope you enjoy that. Like I said, people ask to see about it, know about it. So when I can, I try to um, provide. So as always on those comments, if you want to see something, always ask for it and we'll try our best. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the videos from the hatchery. Here it is. And once we're done with it, uh, the fishing report will follow. Enjoy the video. All right, hey folks, been a lot of rumors and questions about what's been going on with the hatchery here. And where I am is I'm in the bottom end of the fish ladder at the Elkmar Hatchery on the Salmon River. It is mid-March. They're just really kind of starting to collect eggs. They haven't really done much work. They're just kind of waiting on the fish right now. But what I want to show you is what we have in the hatchery. This year we probably got one of the better runs of steelhead I've seen. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this coming spring. It looks like we're going to have a lot of um, fishing going on. And I'm really quick, I'm going to swing the camera back over this way a little bit, see if the sunshine can catch it. There's a bunch of stoneflies floating around in the background. Just thought it would be kind of interesting. But anyways, looks like we got a very strong run of fish in. They haven't started to collect their egg yet, which means we probably got at least a good solid four weeks of steelhead fishing despite what's going on because by the time they collect all these fish it'll be the end of the month it'll take another probably three four weeks of these fish to really drop out so we have a lot of fishing ahead of us and a lot of fish up here so I'm pretty excited there's a lot of fish in the middle of the river there's a lot of fish in the fly zones the upper fly zone hasn't opened up yet I bet you there's a pile up there there is a jag of fish in this system right here this year so it's yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good spring, but then again, we'll know by June. But anyways, we have a lot of fish, which is kind of cool. So of all you that have been kind of wondering what's been going on, um, yeah, this is what's going on. we got some fish, and a lot of fish in the hatchery.
Well folks, I hope you enjoyed that, those video shots from the hatchery. Obviously there is a lot of fish in the hatchery, so looks like we're going to have a pretty good drop back season. And the volume of fish up there and everything, I'm, I'm still saying, yeah, we're going to be fishing into at least the first week of May, possibly the second week, with all the fish and where the weather patterns are going. We're just going to have a very long, um, drawn out spawn season. But anyways, I'm, let's get on with what's going on with the fishing. Um, first I want to fire off a few annoying announcements. Uh, one, more importantly, we have a bunch of openings still in our calendar for this spring, especially April and May. So there's time available with the team, so call and we can get you taken care of. Not a problem. Um, the other thing is, is we're filling up or taking um, bookings for anybody who'd like to try the pike fishing. And um, we start that probably mid to late May and we run right through June and July depending on water temperatures. So we'll be offering our um, pike fishing thing going on and of course send us an email to the Lost Rivers email if you're interested in, in this August um, spay casting clinic I think there's some little information on the website and we'll put you on a mailing list probably in June we'll start taking confirmed bookings but if you're just interested send us an email we'll put you on a mailing list let you know we're starting to take confirms and you can take a look at your calendar see if it's something you can make or not or something that we can help you out with so that's primarily what's going on with the announcements Let's get on to what you really want to hear, and that's the fishing. So I'm going to start out with the Salmon River since I'm on the Salmon River. I've been on for the last few days. And because I'm jumping between Western New York and Salmon right now. Um, so starting out with the Salmon, uh, water flows have come down to 1,000 CFS. That's what you're seeing behind me, plus runoff because I'm in the lower part of the river. I'm going to swing some flies. And so it's probably... 1600 down here, but anyways, I think the Pineville gauge is reading something like 13 now. I don't know if the water's going to drop more or not. Um, we got some wet weather coming in the, end of the week, it might stay, but if it drops, I don't think it's getting much below 750, which is a wonderful flow to fish right now. So the 1000 CFS is just fine. Uh, water temperatures water temperatures have been fluctuating quite a bit depending on where you are in the river, but what's more important is at least the upper river now. Um, some of our morning temperatures are like 38, 39. And by the time we get going in the morning, we're playing around 41, finishing up like 42, 43. So we're at that magic number of 40. So what we're seeing on the gravel, because a lot of the temperature those fish are moving on to the spawning habitat, and at 1,000 CFS, we can't fish those deeper pools as effectively as fly tackle. So what we're looking at is the transition water and the spawning habitat. And if you get onto the gravel, yes, there's fish there. Um, there's been a fair amount of spawning that's been going on, but it's been going on for a couple, three weeks. But it's not plowed and tore up, and it's not covered with fish. we got some fish coming and fish going. Um, it's kind of like, it's a really slow activity. It's just kind of starting to ramp up. And with these water temperatures right on the edge, um, spawning starts at 40, peaks at about 45, 48. So I'll give you some numbers to understand what's going on. We're in the low end of the spawning temperatures. But they are coming on the gravel. We are finding some fish on the gravels and we find some fish in the um, what I call it transition water. It's not quite the winter water, it's not quite the spawning habitat. We're finding fish in there. Um, the other day we picked up some fish on some egg patterns, blue estads of all things. Like Ricky says, sometimes these fish are not too classy. But anyways, um, so it's a whole variety of stuff. We're picking them up in egg flies, we're picking up a lot of stone flies still crawling around. So stonefly nymphs, you want to have them in your box, small willy buggers right now, some big leech patterns could come in handy. So there's, and even some of these mini intruders um, we're starting to use. So all the fun stuff, you can break it up. If you really want to swing, now is the time to start really focusing on your swinging. Um, that style of presentation for these fish. Uh, the swing game is going to be covering a lot of water. Uh, the, remember the lower fly zone, or excuse me, the lower fly zone's open. The upper fly zone will open April 1st, something to keep in mind. So that'll open up the 1st of April. Uh, the, but we've been running the drift boats, doing a lot of floating, covering a lot of water. We're just finding fish scattered all through the system, which is really good, nice spread out. So there's a lot of fish in the river in the system. They're sometimes a little crabby, sometimes they're not. So each day can vary, one day be good, next day, you know, welcome to fishing. But anyways, that's pretty much what's going on on the upper river, the lower river. If you're interested in swinging some flies, getting your best chance on a swing you're looking for like with this warmer 40 degree water going to the lake that's going to trigger some of our late runners to come in they feel that warm water that'll suck them in 
those fish are going to move fast through the system. So if you're down in the Douglas and Salmon Run, fish a lot of water, fish it very fast. Just don't stay in one spot. Don't expect the fish to be coming through like salmon season. Those fish are going to be in and out of the DSR very quickly. So you want to cover as much water as you can, as fast as you can. And if you do, turn around and fish it again because those fish are on the move. And in this situation, since there's never a lot of them there in steelhead time, you need to be on the move and see if you can intercept one of them. So it's a coverage game. There again, worry about your presentation, make it a good swing, fish the flies that you're comfortable with, and just cover water. That's your best shot for the DSR. Those fish are not going to be sitting there that much. They move through. There is a tiny bit of spawning down there, but not much. Especially in this water flow, I think those fish are going to get in. They're just going to be heading upriver. So that's kind of what's going on with the Douglaston right now. Um, going forward with the water flows, we got a little bit of rain in the forecast. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I suspect the river might drop to 750. It might not. Uh, going into um, next week, it's supposed to get colder, so we'll see what happens on, on this part of the river. That'll definitely lower the water temperatures down. It might put us back in the winter mode. So carry a thermometer. At this stage, it is definitely a water temperature game. A lot of times when I start my day, I do water temperatures, and that tells me a lot of where I'm going to find my fish and what mood they're going to be in, just off of water temperature. So something to understand, it's fish behavior. All right, Western New York. Well, we're kind of winding down out on the Western New York. Uh, I got a little bit of fishing to do in the next couple of weeks out there. So I'll, there's still a few brown, last chance brown trout hanging out in my brown trout water. Um, Oak Orchard is probably half to three quarters done with the spawn. They got started really early. The oak is very low water. I mean, we, we're desperate for water in that watershed. So very low, it's, it's low water conditions in the oak. Sandy's okay. It's more of a creek. It comes up and down a little bit, a little bit more um, responsive to wet weather. So hopefully, um, we have some wet weather in the, in the forecast over the next few days. Hopefully that wet weather will help us out, and we can get some uh, flow increase in the oak. In which case, water temperatures are in the mid 40s in there. The fish are spawning. So if you can't find any on the gravel, you can, there's usually a few hold up in the pools. Just looking for fish any deep water you can. There might be a fish in there. There might not. They're going to be skittish, so you got to make a long cast, fish light tip at the smaller flies. Uh, if, we get to, if the water comes up and gets a little dirty, it's going to be game on. It'll be a whole different universe in there. Um, my brown trout water, like I said, there's still a few browns in there. Once we've been intercepting a few steelhead on the, coming through the system, that's been fishing pretty decent. I suspect we probably got another two weeks on that. Um, probably that hold up until the 1st of April. Especially um, looking forward into next week, it's supposed to be cold. So that's going to hold. Oak temperatures are going to hold. It's just if we can get the water in there, it's going to fish. If we don't get the water, it's not going to fish. That's just, well, unfortunately, that's oak. We need we need some rain out there, and we might get it. Uh, it flies out there. If I'm on the oak, I'm using like size six olive buggers, um, size six like hot bead woolly buggers. Um, I'm using some um, classic uh, steelhead wets over there, just keeping the size down. Um, some zonkers in various colors has been working okay. I stay away from the hot colors like chartreuse, orange, and that low clear water. They just don't like that. Uh, sandy, same old thing. Um, few egg patterns, definitely, like carpet flies. Um, bird on nest jazz has been working over there. I've been um, white zonkers or yellow zonkers have been picking up brown trout, even a few uh, once in a while a rainbow too, so or a steely, so that's been working really good over there. So that's pretty much what's going on. Um, on the Salmon River, I think we're just getting started. We're um, back home. We're probably going to be winding down the next couple of weeks. So I think right now we're probably at home. We're probably about two weeks ahead of schedule on the Salmon River because there's no snowpack, no ice on the reservoirs. We're probably three weeks, four weeks ahead of schedule. But I also think with the cold weather and some of the, the late spring or the spring snowstorms that we probably still could get, I think that's going to drag our spawn right out. We're going to probably be ultimately having the same normal season. So if you got dates into April, I wouldn't panic too much about them. If you got a chance to get up right now, like um, the end of this month, like the first couple of weeks of, of April, and you want to swing flies, yeah, come up. And it's We're definitely going to have an opportunity. The salmon's not going to have its normal icy runoff, obviously, but water flows are good. I think the water flows are going to continue. And I think the temps are going to slowly creep up, which is going to drag that spawn out and hold these fish for, I think, another six, seven weeks, to be honest with you, folks. You know, but, you know, 
my crystal ball is real foggy. It's got a crack in it, so I'm just guessing. So that's kind of what's going on with the fishing. Um, once again, uh, we do have time available in March, even this month, if somebody wants a last minute trip for some brown trout in Western New York, give me a call. If you're interested, um, we still got a bunch of April dates and some May dates for steelhead. So it's it's time to go fishing, folks. It's, it's happening. Um, check in with us. We'll go over the options you have and we'll get you in the system. Until then, time to get on the water. I got a beautiful sunny day today and the weather forecast is going to change, so I'm going to go take advantage of it. See you in the water. Have some good fishing. See you, folks. This is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our islands or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.